Hey guys, Jacob with Jacob Comics. All right, we got a really fun episode. We're gonna be reviewing Deadpool 1 that just came out this week. Um, everybody's favorite, Merc with a Mouth. <laughs> now, before we get dived into the first issue of the new run, I do wanna let you guys know about the 500 subscriber giveaway. And when we hit 500 subscribers, we'll be giving this book away. It says Silver Cerberus number one. All you have to do is like the video, comment down below, and be subscribed to the channel and yeah when we well we've already hit 500 subscribers so we'll actually be giving that away this saturday uh just in a couple days all right guys let's go ahead and get dived into deadpool one now as always i do want to let you know we're going to be going heavy into spoilers so if you don't want to be spoiled for deadpool one that's your warning Next off, I always shout out the creative team because without the creative team, we wouldn't have a comic book, right guys? So uh, for Deadpool issue number one, we have Alyssa Wong as the writer, Martin Cocolo as the artist, the colors by Naraj Manan, and letters by VCs Joe Sabino. And there is a, a forward here, and I'll go ahead and start with that. And that says... Uh, this this particular issue is called like the you know the story is called meat cute except meat is spelled m e a t like meat and then it says wait is this implying that this issue is going to be a rom-com or a slaughterhouse someone get me the writer on the phone <laughs> and then it it starts it and it says chosen to take part in a top secret government program wade wilson received the ability to heal from any wound and totally didn't come out the other side messed up in the head no siree he's been a mercenary a hero a king of monsters a general nuisance but now he serves the mutant nation of krakoa damn right between his elite black ops skills and devilish charms and less importantly some empty seats on the roster it was just the right time for Deadpool to go on an X-Force comeback tour, but when he isn't working for Krakoa's spook show, he's still the merc with a mouth. The regenerating degenerate Deadpool. And don't you forget it. And I'm gonna read I'm gonna read some of this uh some of this issue just so you guys can get a feel of kinda how Deadpool won uh like how the writing style's taken on, on this, you know? Um so uh <laughs> This is the first page that, that we have here. And as you can see, Deadpool is totally chillaxing. <laughs> and, uh, and he thinks, uh, hello again. It's me, Deadpool. So you're probably wondering how I got here in this very compromising position. Don't get me wrong. I am enjoying this a lot, actually. I'd love to tell you. A salacious little story about how I ended up strapped to this table. But the truth is I have no idea. As we see Harriet Bromes, a.k.a. the Horrower, says, Ah, you're awake. Hello, Deadpool. And here Deadpool replies, I think I've had this dream before. Or almost this dream. Same sexy immobilization and chemical sedation, less leafy, more needles. Hey, do I know you? She replies, call me the harrower. And he says, cool, I'm the Deadpool. She says, oh, I know who you are. As she sticks her hand into his chest and he's like, ah. <laughs> she says, your body regenerates at an incredible rate. Amputated limbs are reattachable. Excised organs grow back in hours. You're nearly unkillable, Deadpool, which makes you the ideal home for this little guy. He says, oh, heck no, I don't do symbiotes. She says, not with that attitude, you don't. Would you believe I just found this on the street? And it kind of shows a little backstory of her finding the Venom symbiote. And a little more sampling of the art here. So, Harrower is kind of like a, uh, she reminds me a lot of Poison Ivy. She can summon plants and create vines from out of anywhere and a little sampling of the art. I, the art's awesome in this. <laughs> and then, so she's, uh, 
she kind of tells how she found this symbiote and that she's going to use Deadpool in his regenerating skills to, uh, to, uh, he's just going to put it inside of him because everything she's tried to bond this little symbiote she found with, it's killed. And so she's thinking maybe it can't kill Deadpool and she can help grow it. And she, so she says, I've been accused before of playing God, <laughs> as if that's something to be ashamed of. Unfortunately, symbiotes are difficult to work with. This one is damaged, hard to keep alive, and it keeps killing everything I've biofused it with. Deadpool says, oh, I see where this is going. You're just with me for my body. She says, is that a problem? He says, usually no, but in this case, absolutely yes. She says, your body is perfect. Deadpool, he says, thanks? She says, don't interrupt me. It's too perfect to just waste on any symbiote, so I planted a little chunk of Cletus Cassidy in you. You're going to grow me a hybrid carnage. And he, he kind of has this flashback to uh, 48 hours ago. He's supposed to be on this mission to hunt down Dr. Octavius and uh, get an invite to the, to the ateliers. And uh, this really... This is kind of funny. I want to read a little bit of this, too. So, uh, he kind of has the hots for this, uh, this girl that comes up. I'm going to show you a picture. Um, and she has, like, needles as fingers. Kind of like... <laughs> kind of like Freddy Krueger or something. And, uh, she goes, I'm going to implant this subcutaneous tracker now, okay? If you're afraid of needles, you can close your eyes. And he says, oh no, I like them. I mean, a normal amount, especially when they're as nice as yours, you have really nice needles. She says, thanks. My contact number is in your file. Good luck, Deadpool. As he puts his hands to his face and says, you have nice needles. What is wrong with me? And then on this next page, we get scribblings from Deadpool. That are hilarious. I'm going to read them as well. It's uh, better pickup lines than nice needles. Uh, so we have, hey baby, looking sharp. Nope, he crossed that one off. He didn't like it. Uh, how about, is that a syringe in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? Nope, don't like that one. How about, you can give me an emergency injection any day. No, nope, that's not going to work. How about... It must be February 14th because I want you to be mine, Valentine. Nope, that's not going to work either. Are you an impacted wisdom tooth? Because I want to take you out. Nope, that's too threatening. Why is that so threatening? <laughs> um, <laughs> and then there's some other ones I don't want to read. And, and he says, uh, this should not be this hard. <laughs> and... Uh, then, so this is like still in the flashback before he ends up getting captured. I wanted to show this too. He has this great kind of walk through here of, of how he is going to capture and kill Dr. Octavius. And he has it all plotted out on his back wall. <laughs> and he, he goes, uh, oh, whatever. Kill Doc in 48 hours. How hard could this be? Step one, track Doc Ock schedule. Luckily, my handy-dandy Atelier reference file is very thorough. Maybe too thorough. I mean, who needs to know how many times this guy sneezes per hour? Step 2. Case his lab and find any openings. Skylights, windows, particularly suggestible walls, whatever. I'm bendy, I'll make it work. Step 3. Wait for him to get home, because let's be real, he lives there. He's a scientist, where else would he live? Step four, more waiting, so much waiting, maybe text Valentine, see what they're up to, if they have dinner plans, you know, for professional reasons. Step five, infiltrate and murder him. No biggie. And just like that, you're on Doc Ock's roof and you burn through, eh, I mean, wisely used 24 hours. See, it's very simple. <laughs> and as we see, not so simple when... Harrower shows up and and uh, and takes him out. I think that's her name, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Harrower. Yeah. 
So she takes him out with one of her plant projectiles and uh, she says, just breathe in the pollen and go to sleep, Deadpool. I'll see you when you wake up. And then so we're transported back to now. And Deadpool kind of remembers that, oh, I, I remember what's important. I need to go kill Dr. Octopus or I'm not going to get, you know, invited to this group of super mercenaries. And he thinks it's cool, so he wants to get on the team. And sounds like fun to kill Doc Ock. He's a bad guy. So uh, off he goes. There's there's a bunch more jokes. It takes for it, you know. Like I said, if it sound if that kind of style sounded good to you, then then uh, it, that continues throughout. It's it's actually super hilarious. Um, we're gonna go get, go ahead and jump towards the end though here. Uh, so he does arrive at Dr. Octavius's with Harrower, you know, chasing him, basically. And uh, as soon as he arrives there, he, he jumps in through his roof and he's like, and look, look at that, I'm right on time. Uh, ah, and at the same time as, as he's, he's about to, to uh, finish off Doc Ock, the... Uh, you know the the carnage symbiote kind of starts to awaken and uh doc ock says dead deadpool what the hell and deadpool says uh don't don't you move just stay there for a sec so i can so i can kill you <laughs> give me a sec why do i feel so and then the the symbiote kind of pops out of his chest like a like, uh, uh, if you guys have seen the Aliens movie, I don't want to, I don't want to show it on screen. Um, uh, like I said, if this sounds cool, check it out. Um, and then Harrower says, uh, cause Doc Ock's like, what, what is that? And she, she says, you're looking at success. Carnage is coming. As we see Deadpool with kind of like a Carnage symbiote, uh, arms coming out of him at, uh, I don't know. <laughs> they don't really show a full carnage. It's just like Deadpool's on the ground and there's like these two arms coming out of Deadpool. Two carnage arms. <laughs> so yeah. So that is Deadpool number one. Um, and yeah, I, I honestly had a lot of fun with it. I was sort of a little bit worried, you know, um... Deadpool is hard to write, in my opinion. He's definitely, it's definitely hard to get that right kind of a vibe. Um, and yeah, by page two, I was, I was, hey guys, this is just me. Maybe not everybody likes it. I was really, I really enjoyed this. By page two, I was hearing Ryan, Ryan Reynolds' voice in Deadpool's word bubbles. It felt like it was it was written in Ryan Reynolds' voice and a, a very so that that's another point too. This one, um, if you're more into the old school Deadpool, this is not that. <laughs> this is definitely movie version Deadpool, um, which is kind of what I wanted. So I'm super pumped. I think this is going to be a really fun run. Um, yeah, guys, if you guys are interested in movie version uh, Deadpool without not too over the top you know what i mean still still tongue in cheek still still throwing throwing uh one-liners even harder than spider-man does uh, <laughs> if if that sounds like right up your alley um hey man check this out i, I super enjoyed it i give deadpool number one a thumbs up man yeah, I'm just a really fun really fun run read for me so far just one issue in and I, I really feel like they nailed uh, at least the Deadpool that I that I was curious and, and hoping hoping they would they would go for right. Um, <laughs> I don't know this you know the whole the whole story with what's going on. He's got a Carnage symbiote in him. That's a little goofy, uh, but I, I feel like the the Merc with a mouth bled through so much that I wasn't I wasn't really picking apart the story. I I was just all the zany one-liners and i was laughing throughout the book so that's what i have today guys like i said deadpool number one gets a thumbs up um remember if you guys like this kind of content like comment subscribe we'll be giving away the silver cerberus uh on saturday based on comments um on the you know all the videos on the road to 500 
thanks everybody for getting me there. I super appreciate it. We'll see you guys tomorrow and have a great day.